Now, in contrast to this, it's important that we recognize another model, which is what I'm going to call the technocratic model of formation. The technocratic model of formation. Now, the, the key insight here is that it's not fundamentally about the cultivation of inner life. It's, it's about the cultivation of social skills, about learning certain kind of social skills, certain kinds of mastery. And so the goal is not happiness, it's something like effectiveness. And so to become a, a person with, with certain kinds of technical knowledge required for, for very complex tasks. Now, this is the model of formation that is employed in so many business schools and public policy schools and medical schools. This is how we form people. It's a technocratic model of formation largely driven by management theory. And so the path to, cult to formation is the cultivation of skill, the cultivation of skill in which we learn how to both see and solve problems. Look, <laughs> these are so important. Both of these models are formation because we do need to cultivate insight about ourselves and we do need to cultivate skills through which we can serve the world. And many people in the church are deeply embedded in this model of formation. But it's important that we remember that this is not yet a fully theological account of formation, a fully Christian theological account of formation, because it differs from these two in both the goals of formation and the path. And the goal of formation in the Christian tradition is love. 